Hey Jess, answering your questions about communication with um, Donovan. What types of communication did we use? We used mostly eye gaze and watched facial expressions and head switches. In school, he used a lot of head switches and some in the beginning he was using hand switches to communicate, turning on and off devices. Um, eye gaze, his, his eyes were his, his way of communicating mostly. Towards the end, he was, um, he would look at things and smile or his facial expressions and his eye gaze were the majority of his communication for him. And how can people be more sensitive when communicating or interacting with you or my child? Um, making sure that you look in their eyes and, and read their facial expressions was is very important. Um, for him, I found that um, I could I could see when he was in pain or um, really happy or excited to see people just by the look on his face and how he looked around. Um, so that was really, really important and always watching the facial cues for someone when you're when you're talking to someone, looking them in the eyes and watching facial expressions. Um, the last question, what do you want people to know about communicating in different ways? Or with with you or with my child, um, what would I want them to know? Um, there's so many different ways and finding the one that best suits them is a matter of learning them um, what's best for them. So figuring that out sometimes is hard. If you're dealing with someone that, that has less vision, then you may have to, he may, that person might need something more um, tactile, maybe using um, switches or uh, buttons and different types of um, on-off switches to help the, to help communicate that way. So it just depends on the person and getting to know them and finding their right form of communication. Hope this helps you. Love you. Talk to you soon.